Hi, my name is Mark and I teach economics. The purpose of this video is to help you understand comparative advantage, absolute advantage, and opportunity cost when we're talking about trade. Now, the trade could be between nations like England and France, or between regions even, like North Carolina and Florida. And for this example, I'm going to use garlic. We have two types of garlic. I don't know if you know this. This is a purple type of garlic called hardneck garlic. It's grown in the north. It needs this chill hours, this freezing time, in order to germinate properly. This is softneck garlic. Softneck garlic grows in the south, such as in Florida even, zone nine in California. And if, here's my garlic field actually. It's part of my garlic field. Every year I plant a lot of garlic. Now, if I wanted to, I could plant both types of garlic. But for me, this grows better, the soft neck. I get much more production. I can grow the so uh, hard neck garlic, the beautiful purple garlic, which I know from up north, but it's not gonna be as productive. Whereas in North Carolina, say, they could grow this, or they can grow this, either one. In some place like Connecticut, Vermont, they only can grow the purple hard neck garlic. So we have these different ideas, and maybe down south in Florida, really all the way down south in Miami, they could only grow this soft neck, the white garlic. So let's talk about this. We're gonna talk about this and trade. Now, if Florida was a country, or St. Augustine where I live, and my field was a country, and I have a friend, uh, his name is George, let's say George Weed, he's up in Massachusetts, he also has a field, and he grows this purple hard neck garlic. Now, each of us wants to grow garlic. What is gonna be our best advantage? Well, in order to determine that, we have to figure out the opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of growing hard neck garlic versus soft neck garlic in each region. And the idea is, you wanna grow, in your field, the one with the lowest opportunity cost. And for me, it's soft neck. For him, it's hard neck. And we're gonna take a look how you calculate this so you know for sure. Now again, free trade, it's a very controversial issue. So we're not gonna be talking about the politics of trading with the world. We're, instead, we're gonna be talking about the politics of trading with different states. So stay tuned, thank you very much. You see here we have a PPC, that's a production possibility curve. Some people say production possibility frontier. It's using all resources efficiently. What is the maximum you can actually produce giving those resources? And the point here is that Northern garlic is better suited for Vermont, let's say George's field, where Southern garlic is better suited for, let's say Florida, Mark's field. And although Mark could grow this Northern garlic, he'd have to put up some sort of tunnel and simulate conditions in the North. Whereas George, he could grow this white Southern garlic, but he'd have to put up a greenhouse or again, tunnels or netting that would simulate uh, warmer conditions in the South. So if he put forward all that extra additional effort, he could be the white, uh, the white garlic king of northern Vermont, if that's what he wanted to do. From an accounting profit standpoint, it might make sense. Maybe he's the local guy that sells it at a higher price and he makes a little bit of a profit. But from an economic decision, economic profit standpoint, it's better to go with the lower opportunity cost. And when you're given a graph like this, it, it's, this is a pretty clear graph because the numbers are very clear. And so you can obviously make an intuitive judgment of which person has the lowest opportunity cost for which product. But better is to go to a table, put it into a table. And the rule with the table is, if you're looking at it from George's field in Vermont, purple northern garlic, what is the opportunity cost? You say other goes over, other goes over this rule. So you take the 2,000 and put it over the 8,000 and you get 0.25. And if you're taking it from Mark's perspective of let's say Northern purple garlic, other goes over 12,000, goes over 4,000, which gives you four, a three. So you have this opportunity cost calculation and you can take it from Mark's Florida field, opportunity cost obviously, and it's 4,000 goes over 12,000, so you have opportunity cost of 0.33. And you can clearly see that Mark has the opportunity, the lowest opportunity cost of growing white southern garlic, whereas George has the lowest opportunity cost of growing 
northern, this beautiful northern purple garlic. Kasha's field, she has the absolute advantage. Let's say Ceteris paribus, a soil is the same soil conditions. She could outproduce both given the same amount of resources, one acre, seeds, everything the same. And so she has absolute advantage. But right now we're not looking at that. We're just really looking at how do you determine, how do you calculate the comparative advantage of growing in two different fields? Now in the real world, the complexities uh, continue to go out exponentially because you have almost infinite number of products and variables, exogenous and endogenous variables. And so to calculate opportunity cost precisely is not something uh, necessarily an accountant would do. They may look at ROI, et cetera, et cetera, and compare. But uh, this is really an economic concept. It's uh, opportunity cost, but it gives you the logic for better decision making. And I believe that people that understand this in business, they win. They have a better understanding of looking at the cost in the totality of in comparison to other uh, entrepreneurial or economic activities. So there you have it. Again, if you take even a more clear example, what if George wanted to grow oranges or Mark wanted to grow apples in Florida? You, George would even get less production and, and, and on a more extreme case, Mark would get even less production of apples because apple need, need this chill time. Uh, oranges would need super duper biodome uh, type uh, greenhouse. He, he could do it. And he could be the local uh, Vermont Orange Grove King, but in terms of profitability, we always want to look at opportunity cost because opportunity cost is what really determines uh, profitability for the, for the most efficient outcome. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe.